Shakir Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Who wins that fight if they were to meet in the ring at any point in their careers? As you already know, Shakir Stevenson has been calling out Oscar Valdez for some time. Rumor has it that Oscar Valdez ducked Shakir Stevenson. Um, Oscar Valdez just came off of a wonderful win, a knockout in the ninth round of Miguel Burchett and took his straps. And he managed to say, well, you know, I'll take on Shakur. Shakur, if he want it, let's, let's do it. Not in, not in quotes, but something, something similar in that fashion. So, Will Shakira Stevenson get that fight? Because he's been talking about it. So what would happen if they did fight? Who would win? So let's take a look at them real quick. We're going to run through them real fast. We got Oscar Valdez. Um, Early on in his his career, he wasn't as defensively responsible. He used to get hit a lot unnecessarily. Um, His footwork was minimal. Mental head movement. So now he got with Reynoso, and you see definite improvement in him. More footwork, much better head movement. He's always had power. Power was was never an issue. So we have Shakur Stevenson, much more technical. I'd say Oscar Valdez has the edge and speed. He definitely has the power edge and over Secure Stevenson. The IQ, you gotta get at the Shakur. He has great, he has a good IQ, good, good boxing IQ. Um Shakur Stevenson's footwork is another thing to be desired too. He doesn't have the best footwork, doesn't move around as much with his feet. Uh minimal head movement as well. I never really see Shakur bob and weave that much. I think a, a couple of times in fights I've seen him bob his head move around a little bit, but nothing major. He's a technical fighter. Um, decent punch volume. But Oscar Valdez, I believe, has the uh, advance, advantage over him when it comes to punch volume. So, who will win the fight between these two? Well, if they was a showdown in the ring, it will look similar to it'll it'll go like this. You would probably see Oscar Valdez. He might try to revert back to the way he was because he probably feel like Shakur doesn't have the power. He was a little bit more hesitant when it came to Miguel Burchett because he know Miguel has power, so he probably would move a little different. He would be a little less cautious against Shakur Stevenson, which would probably be a big mistake. So he would probably take try to take advantage of him. Probably try to pressure and walk him down. And Shakur will have none of that. He's going to start moving around, jabbing him. He's going to start countering him, catching Oscar Valdez with some with some heat. And jury's out if he could hurt him. Don't know. You know, a lot of people are questioning his power. So it would look similar to that. It would, it would look like you would see him chasing Shakur around that ring or trying to chase him around. And Shakur probably wouldn't back down as much. He'd probably square up with him. He'd try to pin him on the ropes. Shakur pivot off the ropes, get out the way. You'll see a lot of that. You, you're gonna see him. You're gonna see a lot of minimal clinching in that fight. And what what will end up happening is, it's gonna go to the cards, man. I think it'll go to the cards because Shakur is too defensively. Um, he has good defense, man. He has. He has some things, some holes in his defense, but it's, for the most part, he has pretty good defense. He's not like Miguel Burchette. He has way better defense than Miguel Burchette. So, I don't see Oscar Valdez knocking out Shakur Stevenson. Uh, it's possible he can get hurt. Shakur can get hurt for the first time, and it's, if he fought him next, it's possible Oscar Valdez can possibly hurt him. But I don't see any knockouts. I see... Uh, even if even if Oscar Valdez decided to fight the way he fought Bert Schell, I still don't see him outboxing Shakur Stevenson. So I will have to give this fight to Shakur Stevenson, 12th round decision, hands down. 
just something that I was thinking of earlier. I'm like, okay, these two fought. How would it look? Because I'm looking at how he, how uh, Valdez was looking against Burchette. That was a whole different style than you usually see from um, Valdez. Uh, but Eddie Reynoso is a fucking genius, man. Great trainer. And then, you, and I'm picturing Shakur when he was fighting Toka Khan Clary. Shakur will be probably a little bit more cautious against Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez will probably be a little less cautious against Shakur because I don't think he thinks Shakur could hurt him. Shakur might be a little bit more cautious because he knows Oscar has the power. But then Shakur is a dog. He's a dog. He's from Newark. Ain't no chumps out there. So he might put some pressure on him as well. So, you know, expect that to happen. You'll probably see some pressure from Shakur as well. But I still see Shakur outboxing him and for the most part to the win on the cards. So let me know what you think. Who wins this fight between Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez? Drop a comment. Let me know. Hit me up. Like, subscribe, support the channel. I love y'all. Thanks, y'all, for supporting me. I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.